We're back for On Point. James, a big weekend, big points. Sweet 16 for your squad. Would you rather win a derby prep race here or see UK go to the Elite Eight? Well, I mean, UK going to the Elite Eight is a given, so I'm <laughs> okay. trying to win a prep race. All right, yeah, you don't take one to ten, I understand. Well, these are certainly uh, three of the biggest prep races around, 100 points to the winner. We'll have uh, three more of those next week, and then the Arkansas Derby will close us out on the road to the Triple Crown. But uh, can't overlook this weekend, Florida and Louisiana Derby stateside, UAE Derby over at Maidan. Uh, wh- which race are you most excited about? Well, the, obviously the Florida Derby is and the Louisiana Derby hold more interest for me than the uh, UAE Derby. I'm, I'm really just interested in seeing how one horse <laughs> runs there. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, I just hate to be so blunt about a race that's worth 100 points, but th- there's zero chance that I will like anything out of that race in the Kentucky Derby in any position. Uh, I just need to see a horse over there come here and have – any effect on the race before I even consider it. I would take a horse who didn't race it too before I took a UAE Derby horse. Well, there just, there just hasn't been the right horse yet, though, you could say. <laughs> I mean, you could say that that race doesn't give you the right horse. I mean, but you never know. They come yeah. from all corners, maybe even all corners of the world, but we'll, we'll stick to the domestics from here on out. Upstart uh, is the highest, I think, on both our lists of any horse running this weekend. He'll probably be favored in the Florida Derby, but Pletcher's got quite the one-two punch. Yeah, but even with Pletcher's horses in there, I think Upstar will be a solid favorite. I think, you know, the general consensus is that he regressed a little bit off the Holy Bull, but a lot of people are looking to, for him to rebound, run a better race, and, you know, be the winner. Yeah, and uh, it sounds like the reports out of South Florida for him are good. Uh, I am leaning toward materiality, though. I think now's the time to uh, to play him if you want any sort of price obviously if he wins here you're not going to get one going forward i mean you will relative to the other starters but and you know not that two to one or three to one's any bargain here but right you know i'll take a chance he's special and there's there's just there's not a lot of pace in there so materiality has chance to be on the front end and uh i think upstart will be tracking him in second or third and you know he's got a chance to run well he's an improving horse and the way pletcher is just reading his tea leaves i'm selling it's a knockout here I don't think they both would be in here if one of them weren't superior to the other, and I think that's materiality. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing uh, It's a Knockout get away from Goldstream. I didn't like that Holy Bull effort, you know, per se by him. I would have preferred to have seen him in another prep race. Yeah, well, they they had a bunch of choices, including the Louisiana Derby, where Pletcher does send one. But we also have International Star, who is among the points leaders. He could certainly uh, bolster that with a big effort here. I, I guess he'll be favored, but with Mr. Z, War Story getting a lot of buzz, it should be a pretty even board. Yeah, the, the Louisiana Derby, as opposed to the Florida Derby, has much more pace in my eyes. You have both Stanford, Mr. Z, and St. Joe Bay all are all like to run on the front end. And uh, and I don't think that the other jockeys want to allow Stanford to get away to an easy lead from the rail. They'll be pressuring him the whole way. Yeah, I, I'm with you completely. Mr. Z, of course, a horse I'm interested in. I call him my long shot play in the Derby right now. Now, but depending on what happens here, he might take some money. I told you I want him to do his usual hang job, second or third, so I can cash a price in five weeks. But you said the time is now. Why was that? Uh, well, I just think he needs to keep moving forward. I mean, he hasn't run back to his speed ratings as a two-year-old. He needs to show that he has improved this year. He needs to take a step forward in this race and continue moving forward. And I don't know if a third-place effort would, <laughs> would ju- be justify that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but speaking of moving forward, 14 players left in the showdown. They have, uh, what is it, seven races to move forward through before they get to the Derby, which could be worth a million points. Who would you take? Well, who will you take? You're still well, picking. But- I, I, I like International Star to run well from off the pace, but Keen Ice intrigues me as well. I like both those closers. Uh, I know a lot of people like War Story. War Story is funny. War Story and International Star have the same dynamic that Dortmund and Firing Line had, where Dortmund had his number in back-to-back races. International Stars have War Story's number in back-to-back races. Yeah, that's, that's a good point there. So, uh, Would you say the Louisiana Derby is the tougher of the two for those playing for a million with the pressure on them? Oh, yeah, definitely. 
definitely for sure. I mean, the, the thing with International Star is he's he's rallied up the rail in both in both the Lecompte and Risen Star. Let's see what he does when he doesn't get that ground saving trip. All right, and we'll see what happens this weekend. What everyone does, UK might be talking mm-hmm. Final Four next week. Hopefully, we'll be talking it live from Keeneland, though, if the weather cooperates. Another huge weekend, including a hundred point race in our backyard. Join us, won't you?